So this one should be 375 minus the margins divided by 5 because I have 5 elements. Okay. And then. Hi everyone and welcome to this new Figma tutorial. Today I will show you how to create your navigation bar the right way. And full disclosure, this method is only possible thanks to the latest Figma features in 2022. So I completely understand why there are tutorials out there showing you an, an efficient way of doing this. But that's in the past. Today we're going to use Figma components, variants, and auto layout. But I promise you, this is way easier than it looks. Let's get right into it. So we have five menus and we need to create a navigation bar that allows us to move from one menu to the other. So the first thing that we need to do is to look for icons. And I highly recommend you to use this Iconify plugin. It's very useful. And here, let's export this heart for our favorites menu. Then I will look for search. I'll use this one. Then for art, let's use this one. Then for inbox, let's look for inbox. And I will export this one. And then finally for profile, I'll look for account and I'll use this one. Okay, so now let's make sure, let's change the names. This one will be favorite icon. This one will be search icon. So this one is card icon. And this one is a little smaller than the other one. So before making a component, I will increase the size. It's always a good practice to have a consistent size for your components. So this one is inbox icon. So this one will be profile icon. And now we can make a component of this. We select all of them, go here and create multiple components. There you go. And here we can align them and tidy up. Okay, so now that we have our icons, let's use an instance of an icon. So I click Shift I to access my new components and I will select the search icon. Now I am creating the navigation item. So now I need a text. I, will, I am using Poppins, Median and Tem for my text in my navigation bar and this one will say Explore. Now let's make this an auto layout. Let's decrease the size between these components or these elements to zero. And then let's center this and add some padding on top and bottom and just leave it to six. A good size for your navigation bar is always between like 48 to 55 pixels. So with adding, adding six will give me 51. So that's fine. And now I will make this a component. And this one will be nav item. Now, before creating the, the new variant, I will use the properties of these of Figma 2022. So for that, I will select my icon and I will create this instance swap property. This will allow me to change the icon easily later just by using this right panel here. You will see how it works later. So I click here and I'll call this icon and here, this is very, very recent. You can add your preferred values and we, let's add the card icon, favorites, inbox. Basically you have all your components here and the, the last one is profile. Cool. And we create this property. Now let's do the same for text. We can add a text property here, create text property, text, and let's leave the default value to explore. And now we can create a new variant and let's change the name of this variant to active. And here the value will be no and yes. Every time you use a 
values for a variant that are yes, no, on, off, or I think those two will make this variant switch. You'll see also how it works later, but I highly recommend you to take a look at my components and variants tutorial. I will put the link somewhere in this video. And now that we have this one, I will, this one is by default yes, and this one is by default no. And I want my active version to have this color and this one to be a light gray. I already have this color saved here. And now that we have the navigation item, we can start creating our navigation bar. For that, I will start with an instance of my navigation item. Here, I will look for item. And then I will put this under an auto layout. For this auto layout, I will activate the fill. And let's adjust the margins. I don't want any padding or margins on the bottom on top. So I will change this to zero. And the margins I will use for the size are going to be 20 pixels. I want this navigation bar to have a fixed size of 375 for this exercise. Now, the secret to make this responsive is to get my navigation item and change this from hug to fill container. And now, when I add the other components or the other items, by duplicating this, it will automatically distribute the spacing evenly. So I select my navigation item and I click Command D. And here automatically I have my five items for my five menus with the margins and evenly distributed. And here I can delete the, the spacing between these two and it will automatically fill this spacing as you can see. Now I can make this a component and I will change this to navigation bar. And now since we use our instance swap and text properties in our nav item, I can select here and change this to favorites and change the icon to our favorite icon. So the same for this one. This one will be hard and the icon will be the car icon. Same for this one, will be inbox, and let's look for inbox here. And finally, this one is profile, and let's look for profile icon, there you go. And that's basically it. We have our navigation bar that is responsive because we changed this to fill. And now we can copy and use our navigation bar in our frames, let's hit it here, to the same here, 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 and here. And now the beauty of it is that I can select this one, make this active, make this one active, same for this one, this one, and finally profile. And there you go. That's all we need for the design. And as you can see here, we only need two main components to create this navigation bar. And also to finish this, we can start adding the prototype. And another benefit of using components is that you only need to add the animation prototype to your main component and it will automatically show up for your instances. So for this one will be go to prototype. So this one will go to here, favorites go with this one, cars go with here, inbox here, and profile goes here. And now if I click to my prototype, I can see that it goes from one menu to the other. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you still have questions about Figma components and variants. I highly recommend you to watch my video about it. And if you want to learn more about product design in general, follow me and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.